So when I say I scrapped the whole meal, the Ruchis I was going with, like I said, the car had some little miss on um, fortunes with bad communication with people that was doing work to the car. So it pushed me back farther and farther. So I sold the rims. Everybody seen what rims I was doing. So decided to change it up. So this uh, this time, y'all not gonna see what rims I put on here till the car is done. And this nigga hear me vlogging and he was like, fuck it, I'm about to turn on this motherfucking shop vac. But that's pretty much what it is. Like I said, today, not early tomorrow, whatever, I'll be picking up my new motor. It's already built. It's just doing a little finishing touches on it. And as soon as I bring it home, it's coming in. It's getting dropped in the car. I think these bees building a beehive in here. I don't show hope not. I don't know where it's at, but I set this whole garage on fire before that shit happened. But anyway, as far as the interior, there was some miscommunications with that too. I was supposed to be and had my stuff back, but got back on the right track. Those should be here. My new seats and door panels and all that shit should be here this weekend. He should be here to, um, he said he's gonna measure, my, measure it up for my console. So I'll be able to put that in, start up with my interior motor. As far as these plastic pieces for the dash, I gotta get those back and send them to somebody else to paint them for me. And it was sitting for like two, three months, just waiting to get painted purple. Same color as this. It never got done, so I'll be sending those off to somebody to spray or whatever. Um, let me see, I can show y'all. I haven't done much under the hood, really, since the last video. Last video, but cleaned up out of here, painted it, and um, switched out the mounts. And I put my own um, Porsche valve in over there. If y'all can see, that's where my rear disc brakes. So, not much ain't really changed. Still changing the control arms when I get a chance. I ain't gonna lie, I've been being a little cheap about it. But I ain't in no rush to do it, especially since I got rid of the rims. Found the set, when my homeboys got for sale, I'm debating if I wanna go ahead and grab them and swap them out. But, like I said, that's how we looking though. That's what it is. So. Next time this hood get popped, y'all be seeing me drop this motor in here, putting the motor in. Yeah. Starting up my whole new setup. Like I said, this year, I've caught myself out this year and I'm planning on bringing this car out at all. But I'm gonna use this year to go ahead and make sure everything is right. So when I bring it out next year, I ain't gotta be depending on nobody or waiting on nobody. Like I said, interior be all the way in. If I have to do any adjustments or anything on the interior, I got all the rest of this year to go ahead and get that shit situated. Um, same with the motor. Once I drop the motor in, start wiring everything, running lines. I said I got brand new radiators. I got I bought a lot of brand new parts, so I have some of everything. Then we're gonna go from there. Besides that, ain't no rush. Cause I honestly like it's not too many cars in Detroit for real that I see worth me bringing my car out to compete with. No shade being thrown, but it's a lot of thrown together cars here in Detroit. And they be expecting, um, how could I put it? Uh, they be expecting the most for they bills. Not even saying their price, but when it comes to car shows or whatever, they expect everybody to be googly eyed over some shit that y'all ain't really put no real money into. I throw a set of old rims on a car. I think it's car show ready. So I like to take my time and do this shit for myself, not for nobody else. So, like I said, stay tuned. Motor coming in next. Like I said, I already got I already got the rims picked out and ready to order. And like I said, these rims for show. 
Might be my favorite set out of all the rims I had, like I said, from the dubs, the spins, the zigzags, to everything I had, like seriously. Like, these gonna top them all, especially when I get my stance right, too, so. Like I said, stay tuned. Until a little later, y'all see me drop this motor in. Oh, shit, what do we have here? They came and um, mocked up for my new console. That bitch about to be so crazy. I promise you, when my car is done, this will be the hardest G-Body, custom G-Body on rims in the city. We could put the state of Michigan. I don't give a fuck to. I'm about to come big pressure. Trust me. I said the dash might not look like shit right now because all the inserts missing. But I guarantee you, once I put them inserts in, it's gonna look completely different. Solid floors. Man, them back seats. color from my dash looks slightly off because of the lighting that's why I got that piece right there if you notice that piece down there identical to those that piece was wrapped with my dash too I ain't got no good lighting in here it's going off of this light so it's making it look lighter than what it is but it's actually that color so I see in certain angles to get darker or whatever but that's what it is Well, push come to shove, I haven't rewrapped this too though. Game time, y'all. Time to pick it up. On his way home. Touch up the paint a little bit when I get to the crib. We locked and loaded. On his way home. Mad Pete. The mad doctor. Jessica New Heartbeat. YouTube, like I told y'all, about to drop this new motor in, get this shit going. Just picked it up. Shut up. Go ahead and put it in. It's crazy. I can put it in right now if I want to, but I literally need an Allen head bolt for the oil pan before I go ahead and put it in there. Missing one because um it's catching on the pan. So I gotta find find one of my Allen head bolts that'll fit in there real quick. Not too serious, but it's ready to go in. About to put the um, mount, mount the little mounts up here and whatnot. But that's what I'm working with. Like I said, the motor was redone. It was a 396 stroker, but we had to go inside of it a little bit, punch it out 40. So it's it's a small block, but it's a it's bigger than a 396. Don't quote me on. I don't know exactly the cubic inches on it, but. It's bigger than what it was. It's a stroker motor, though, for sure. So if I can find this boat today, it will be going in today. 
I'm going to um, probably run to Home Depot or Lowe's. See if I can find something that I'm um, going there. So I'll go ahead and drop this bitch up in my car. Just like that. So, like I told y'all, give y'all some footage. And a little footage right here. Next time y'all see this motor is going to be inside that car for sure. Let's go ahead and get this shit going. There we go. New motor in the car. Let's call it a big stroker motor. Small, big stroker motor. Like I said, it was a 396, but it ain't no more. Don't know exactly what it is now from the work we did to it, but it's in here. One side bolted down. Other side slightly off. I'm tired. I need somebody to um, actually jack up on the other end. Level it for me so I could put this other bolt in here. I got play when I shake the motor, but it is what it is. Nothing too major, but it's in here. So when I put that in there, bolt up this trans and torque converter, I'll be putting in a starter pulley setup and my um, EFI, Holly Sniper system, whatever. So there you got it. Picked the motor up today, got rained on, had to wait. Put the flywheel in the mount zone, dropped it in, calling it a day. I'm gonna hop in the shower. It's been a long day. I had a lot to do today besides this. I'll get back out here tomorrow. Well, I might come back out here tonight, ain't no telling. But it's coming along though. Jessica 2.0 will be on her way. Whole new look when this bitch all said and done, trust me. <laughs>